Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis. As soon as I can get this camera to balance out for just a second. Sorry about the wibbly wobbliness going on. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for early Thursday morning. If you're just joining us, again, this is our usual weather overtime video weather blog. This is where we give you a chance to ask questions about what's going on with the forecast and to give you an idea as to what's happening with weather in the Mid South area. For those of you unfamiliar with this area of the country, we feature again the area in and around parts of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, East Arkansas, just below Missouri, just north of the Louisiana area. And this is again what we call the Mid-South. So we give you updates on mainly that particular location. Got questions about the forecast? Drop them into the comments section down below here and give us an idea as to where you are, what the temperature's like, the weather's like, things like that. Currently in the backyard we've got 70 degrees, winds light out of the southeast at 2, about a 20% chance of a shower or a thunderstorm for the rest of the day today, mid to upper 80s with mostly cloudy skies and for later on tonight only dropping into the mid to upper 60s. More of our forecast available here at WREG.com slash weather. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in the mid clouds mixed with sunshine around the Rhodes College campus and a beautiful start to the morning across much of the mid-south. We'll have any problems with rainfall as of right now but that again will be changing as we get into the course of the rest of the day today. Taking a look down toward Ole Miss on the University of Memphis campus and so far again pretty quiet. Wes A until tomorrow well, not no rainfall, but we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Uh, Old Hall Construction Cam, looking back toward the new version of the Student Union. Things are looking a lot nicer there. Starting to finish up, it looks like more of our webcams available at WREG. More of Old Miss's cameras available at oldmiss.edu. Currently in Germantown from the Weatherbug camera, 70 degrees, 87% humidity. Rather a warm and sultry start. A little bit on the hazy side, noticing back off to the area close to around uh, downtown Memphis and the towers of East Memphis. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures back into the mid to upper 60s to pushing the 80 degree mark by about 9 o'clock this morning. Still not seeing anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms. 0% chance for the most part until about mid-morning and then afterwards we start to see the best possibility of showers and thunderstorms coming up as we get into around the area of late this morning, early this afternoon. 10% doesn't sound like a lot, but if you have outdoor plans, that golf game, swimming lessons for the kids, getting that grocery shopping done, what Whatever you've got going on, that is where we see again the potential for more of the chances of showers and thunderstorms out there, but either way a very warm and sultry day across much of the Mid-South. Let's take a look to see what the temperatures are going on. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got with temperatures in the high 70s by the time we hit about News Channel 3 live at 9. Heading into the lunchtime hour, that's where we start to see again more chances of showers and thunderstorms across much of the area. It looks like a lot of activity will be featured down to around Clarksdale, south of Oxford, Batesville, and that particular area area, but we could see a shower or thunderstorm at just about any point in time in the Mid-South as we get done with the rest of the afternoon. Now after sunset tonight, that takes care of all the rest of the daytime heating, and so that's where we'll see less of a chance of showers and thunderstorms across much of the area. Unfortunately, as we go into Friday, we have more of a chance of showers and thunderstorms starting to blossom as we go into the afternoon, so if you have any plans for outdoors closing out the week, that's also where we see the potential for stronger thunderstorms out there, and it looks like that's going to be the potential for the rest of the weekend as well. Severe weather threat for today, not for us, down to the south of us into around portions of southern Arkansas, Louisiana, middle Tennessee, a marginal threat, but that's going to be about all. The rest of the area showing again maybe a threat of thunderstorms back to the north of us as we go into Friday and also again as we head into the weekend, the possibility of anything involving severe weather includes a marginal threat up toward the Great Lakes. Nothing expected for us, so definitely good news on that. Rest of the seven-day forecast, again, isolated showers and thunderstorms today, and that forecast pretty much goes into the same into tomorrow, mid to upper 80s with showers and thunderstorms once again throughout the day. Now, the not good news for the weekend is a 50% chance on both Saturday and Sunday. So if you have any plans for outdoors, probably should be able to keep them for the most part but remember if you can see lightning or hear thunder you are close enough to that thunderstorm to get struck by lightning so play it safe back indoors again remember when thunder roars go indoors it's a great catchphrase from the national weather service and it should keep you safe we should draw down the chances of showers and thunderstorms into this next weekend but we're also going to be seeing again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms coming our way less of a chance toward midweek next week the temperatures drop by just a bit a little bit drier air less of a chance of showers and 
and thunderstorms, but we'll be heading back toward 90 as we go toward next weekend, so stay tuned for more on your 10-day forecast a little bit later on. More on the forecast. If you want to keep up to date with our forecast and see what's happening with weather around the Mid-South, go to your app store and search WREG Weather and download the News Channel 3 weather app today, and I'll be on with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live this morning from 7 to 9 a.m. on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. You can listen to them online as well. Great sports chat as well. And catch me on all my various social media networks across the Mid-South. I'll have an update on your forecast coming up within minutes on News Channel 3 Daybreak, including the entire 10-day forecast, and I'll be live on our Facebook station as we go into around 7 o'clock this morning, so join me for an update there, and of course on all these social media networks, you can catch me for more information on that. Questions, concerns, ideas, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Thanks for joining me for this morning's update of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. More to come throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 on air and online.